Ford manages to shove Johnny out of the way and stumbles over at the same time. The chair ends up flying past him and being launched across the room. Why did you betray me, Johnny? Betray you? When you stopped following me around and made friends with Ford. Kara, he's his own person. He makes his own decisions. You're not in control. You don't own him. You can't make his decisions for him. Well said. <laughs> Were you really Kara's best friend? I wish I never had been. A wish won't change the past. And you can still learn from the past. Yeah. Do you ever say more than one word around other people, Freddy? Maybe to me, but no one else. Kara picks up another chair. None of them notice. What is it with you two? The chair is launched by Kara and Freddy jumps out of the way just in time and it hits a waitress. Cora, you're going to get us kicked out. And? Of course she wouldn't care. Don't mess with me. I think we know that by now. She picks up another chair. Cora, just stop. We should just get out of here. Ford searches his banana milkshake and then the five of them run out of a cafe and down the street. Cora didn't follow in fear of being spotted by too many people. It still shocks me we all thought she'd changed. People don't change, Ford. You know I still didn't believe half her story. What about Louisiana? People don't change. What about me, then? My brother has eyes for Louisiana. There's exceptions. Sometimes. She hasn't set anything on fire lately. Your brother is probably fine. Plus, she's friends with my cousin. Finally, everyone's getting along. Yeah, that's right. Where are we going now? My house? Seems like your house and my house are the only peaceful ones at the moment. That's probably right. The five of them head to Eve's house and go inside. Your house is huge. Thanks? I'm sorry, Ford. I was waiting to hear that. Eve gets a jar of cookies out of the cupboard and sets it down on the table, sensing a lot of awkwardness among them. Do none of you talk to each other? You all seem to be so awkward, or is there just a lot of tension? Maybe. Okay, well, either way, we still need to work together. Surely that's easy enough to do. As long as there's no more fallouts, and no more going behind each other's backs. And no more secrets. Ford looks at Johnny and Freddy in turns as he says this. Ford. Connor walks into the living room. Oh. I didn't hear you come home. Are you having a party in the living room? It's not exactly a party. We were running from Kara and needed somewhere to go where everyone wasn't in some massive feud. Unlike mine and Freddy's house. And mine. What happened, Sabrina? Cousins I didn't know about showed up and Kuna hates one of them. But what? My point exactly. And Ford didn't want to talk to Rose, so we came here. Do you have a parent around, Eve? My dad's at work. And your mom? Eve glances at Connor, who doesn't say anything, so she pulls Freddy into the kitchen. Most people don't know this about me, but I trust you. No what? I don't trust many people. I don't like talking about my family with many people, but you're different to the rest of them. Eve, what's wrong? My mom isn't alive, Freddy. Eve. My father raised Connor and I for a long time. I barely even know my mom. What I do know, though, is that she'd have liked you. What did she think of Kara? She never liked her much. She was the only one right about Kara. No one caught onto her behavior until it was too late. It sounds like she was quite intelligent. I think she was. Why don't you like talking about it? I've always been confident, cheerful, and extroverted, and I just feel as if people would look down at me, or use it to their advantage to get me. I hate my mom being brought up into conversations, and I'm not a very liked person. 
I really don't want people to know the most personal things about me and for them to use it against me. You know I wouldn't do that. Exactly. That's why I told you. Let's rejoin the others? Sure. The two of them go back into the living room. I should probably get home. You don't have to. It's fine. I'm trying to warm to my mum a little more, I suppose. That's fair. Ford walks out of the door. Johnny and Sabrina follow. I've got some board games in the cupboard. Sure. Can we come back for you, Ford? Um, Ford? Fine. See, I said we'd help you. There's nothing more you can do now, though. Is my sister okay? I don't know. She lied to all of us, though. Even you, Ethan. I know. Hey, you four. Good afternoon. Come inside. Kayla. Yes? You look upset. Oh, just came back from my parents' house. And? My mom is still blaming me for Bailey, and... Hi. Alaya. How is it your fault? It's not her fault. Whatever. Kayla. It's fine. Just leave it. Well, where's Freddy? Out. Excuse me? He was covered in food, alright? Alright. Liliana, do you think you'll be okay? I don't know. Is Ford okay? Freddy didn't call back, so I have no updates on whether Ford is okay. I mean, I forced him to call Johnny. Hopefully, Ford and Johnny made up, because they need each other. They were best friends before even I met Ford. How long have you known Ford? About four months. Johnny's known him five. He was in a wheelchair when I met him. Oh. I heard a lot about that. Didn't everyone? I didn't. Well... Johnny was his rock after Ford was pushed down the stairs by Johnny's sister. I wish things could stay that way. Maybe they still can. Have you even heard how much they're falling out? Well, it seems that Ford is starting to confide in Freddy more than Johnny because of it. Did he confide in Freddy before this? Well, yes, after the stuff of me, but he confided in them both equally. However, since he and Johnny have grown apart, well... Everything is so messed up right now. That's an understatement. And I should get back home, see if Ford is there, and actually okay. Yeah, of course. I'll come too. I'll drop Courtney and Bailey back home and then head to my house, I suppose. But ugh, Dana's sister. Stop worrying about that. Everything will be fine. Before you think about how messed up your life is, think about, well, Ford, and Johnny, and Raylan. That's true. Lewis? What? Why weren't you in school today? Because I wasn't. That is not an acceptable answer. You've never experienced anyone going missing. Well, yes, but- Just leave me alone! Lewis storms upstairs. Lewis! What now? What do you mean, what now? Well, investigating that building didn't work. So, what are your next steps? I thought you didn't support me. I don't. Only because I don't want you to get hurt. Which is why I want to know your next steps. Well, I'm not sure, right? I just want you to stay safe. It was close enough this time. I'm 15. I can take care of myself. Fine. Johnny. Sabrina. Hi. What happened when you were out? Car for a chair at Johnny. What? Ford showed me out of the way, though. No casualties. Yet. Yet? Well, I don't know what Kara or Yvonne have in store. Besides suddenly abducting Liliana and Freddy's mum? Well, Freddy didn't care. And do you blame him? Nope. I'll make some hot chocolates. Sure. Let's go into the living room. Of course. So... What? What now? Rather than focusing on Kara, you need to focus on my missing sister and my seriously distressed friend. Who? He means Freddy, Johnny. Oh. I'm not pushing him, not after what happened to Liliana. That's understandable. I just don't know how on earth I can help him when I don't know why he's so distressed. Have you tried asking? What do you mean? Like, simple questions that may reveal information but may not seem suspicious. What if he lashes out at me? Seriously, Ford, you want to do something. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. So, what do I ask? Well, the starting point is, what's wrong, and then go from there. 
maybe ask specific questions or yes and no questions. So something like, is your mum bothering you? I know that's a bad example, but that's always true about Freddy. Yes, something like that. I mean, it's not hard to answer a yes or no question and... What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, another thunderstorm.